Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. We are going to conduct another video tutorial on signaling systems course. In last two video tutorials, we have discussed about even and signals in very much detail, their graphical analysis and their mathematical representations. Today we are going to discuss the same topic and we will extend some knowledge about even and odd signals. So we are going to discuss the third category in this section of course, which is called neither signal. And what is neither signal? Uh, just to understand this uh, signal, we need to have an example. So let's take one example. So this is a signal. So first of all, let's test the signal, whether the signal is even or not. So for even signal, what we have to do, we have to actually uh, turn the uh, X positive values or the signals positive uh, signals value at positive time axis over the negative time x axis or we have to fold the signal across the y axis so if you are going to fold the signal this will look like this right i hope you understand that this area is basically folded over the this area so and now this shattered part shows the overlapped area and from the graphical understanding of even signals we know that if signal is not completely overlap after this folding of uh, signal across the y-axis then the signal will not turn as an even signal so that means this signal is not an even signal right now let's test the signal for odd signal so for odd signal what we have to do we have to also turn this folded uh, already folded section of uh, already folded signal across the x axis as well so in first step we just fold it across the y axis and now we are going to fold the signal across the x axis so what is going to happen so this will this signal will look like this and again we see that this shaded part shows the overlap area and this white part indicates that there is a still area which is not completely overlapped uh, so that means this is also not an even signal, right? Sorry, not an R signal. So this signal, which we have taken as an example, uh, is basically neither even nor R. That is why the signal is also known as neither signal or neither signal, whatever you call it. But for such signals, which, which is neither even nor R, so those signals have basically both components. The signal can be composition of two parts and one part will be even part, another part will be odd part. So just to express the uh, fact that I explain you right now uh, in mathematical form, in mathematical form, it will look like this. So this is an X of T signal. This neither signal is an X of T signal, right? And uh, it has even part which is called x e of t and it has also odd part which is called x o of t right so this signal is now neither signal which have both combination which have both uh, parts right even part and as well as odd part so i hope you understand about the neither signal a signal which is neither even nor odd that will be termed as neither signal and uh, in general, one can say that it has two different parts, even part and odd part. So in next video tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can actually mathematically uh, calculate these even and odd parts, right? So I hope you understand the concept of neither signal and uh, wait for my next video tutorial uh, in which in, the, in that tutorial, I'm going to explain you the mathematical uh, values and evaluation of these components. Still, if you have any query about neither signal, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.